past few months have been rough. Never before has this happened. What was happening? Some time a few months ago, the trees were green. The large fields were lush and the bushes bore fruit. Now the trees were bare and the fields covered in some freezing cold white substance. The berries from the bushes all fell off. The cold wind howling like the wolves at night. Where did the sun go? In its place was darkness, like coal we used for the fires. Every day I sat down and prayed, praying to somebody or something. But the sun have to come back before it is too late. Amaterasu, also known as Amaterasu Omikami or Oirume no Muchi no Kami, is the Japanese sun goddess from the old Shinto religion. Shinto, meaning way of the gods, is the oldest religion in Japan and traces back to the Jiaoyi culture. Amaterasu is without a doubt one of the major deities or kami from the Shinto religion. Having appearances all the way back to the Kojiki and the Nihon Shoki, as mentioned, she is regarded as a very celestial and a holy being, also being known for being bright and insightful. She was the ruler of the heavens, or the Takama no Hara, meaning plane of high heaven. She even has her own shrine dedicated to her worship, the Ise Grand Shrine in the Miya Prefecture of Japan. The Ise Grand Shrine is also the official shrine of the imperial family. During the Edo period, the shrine was a very important pilgrimage site. Her name, Amaterasu Omikami, which means Great Divinity Illuminating Heaven is a pointer to her excellence. To understand her more, we have to look into her origin. The Kojiki and the Nihon Shoki both agree that she was the daughter of Izanagi, one of the two gods vastly believed in Shinto religion that had created Japan and the other Shinto gods and kami. Sources of her origin varies. However, some elements in every tale share a semblance to each other. In a popular tale from the Kojiki, it is told that her dad, Isanagi, went to purify himself after a failed attempt to rescue his deceased wife, Isanami, from the underworld, the world of Yomi. By the river mouth of Tachibana in Himuka, Isanagi washed himself. From his left eye came Amaterasu. Tsukiyomi, the moon god, came from the right eye, and after washing his nose, came Susano, the storm god. Isanagi promptly appoints Amaterasu to be ruler of heavens, Tsukiyomi, ruler of the night, and Susano, the ruler of the seas. The Nihon Shoki had a different narrative where Isanagi and Inasami procreated after making the Japanese archipelago. The children born from that union were Amaterasu, Tsukuyomi, the leech child Hiruko, and Susano. The story goes that Amaterasu shone brilliantly like the sun, and Isanagi and Isanami were astounded by their wondrous infant and immediately sent her to heaven to entrust her with the affairs of Takama no Hara. The sun goddess eventually married her brother, Tsukuyomi, the god of moon. However, the two gods were like night and day. In one tale from the Nihon Shoki, Amaterasu ordered her husband to go to Ashihara no Nakatsukuni, the middle world between Takama no Hara and Yomi, and visit the goddess Ukemochi. Ukemochi was a goddess of food in the Shinto religion. When Tsukuyomi arrived, she was already preparing the banquet of different marvelous foods. It is described that Ikumochi prepared the feast by spitting out the fish, spewing out the bountiful game, and coughing up 
the bowls of rice. The god of moon, being totally disgusted, got offended and slew Ukumochi on the spot, thus returning to heaven. Upon his arrival, he found a severely disappointed Amaterasu. This action caused her to split ways with Tsukuyomi, thus separating night and day. Having a habit of fighting with her brothers, it comes as no surprise that their stories of Amaterasu and her youngest sibling, Susanoo, as well. Having a history for his troublesome and aggressive nature, Isanagi, his father, expelled Susanoo, the storm guard, from Takama no Hara. Before leaving, Susanoo went to say his farewells to Amaterasu. In an attempt to prove his sincerity, he challenged his elder sister to an ukihi. During the ritual, Amaterasu took Susanoo's heavenly sword and he took her necklace. From this ritual, five gods and three goddesses were born. Amaterasu produced three goddesses from the heavenly sword, while Susanoo produced five gods from Amaterasu's grand jewel. In a disagreement to who won, Susanoo became filled with rage. He, like a storm, wreaked havoc by destroying his sister's rice field and defecating in her palace. Thinking that his rage would eventually subside, Amaterasu did not mind her brother's misdeeds. However, instead of subsiding, his anger and violence grew even larger. Until one fateful day, when Susano threw his sister's horse, the heavenly people horse, into Amaterasu's weaving hall. This incident claimed the life of one of Amaterasu's weaving maidens. A shame that her negligence led to such an outcome, and angry as well as sad for her loss. Amaterasu, in her response, locked herself up in the heavenly rock cave, also known as Ama no Iwato. Having locked herself up in the heavenly rock cave, the world plumbed into darkness and chaos. Amaterasu's brilliant light had disappeared, and thus began the first winter. The other gods punished and banished Susanoo soon after and quickly realized that they had to bring Amaterasu back to illuminate the darkness. Led by the Shinto god of wisdom, Omoekane, they conceived a plan to lure the sun goddess out. In a desperate attempt, the other gods set roosters outside the heavenly rock cave in hopes that their crowds would trick the goddess into thinking it was dawn. Continuing the plan, they placed a large sakaki tree decorated with sparkling jewels, cloth white as snow and a large mirror at the center. As a cherry on top, the goddess Amenosume, goddess of dawn, mirth, meditation, revelry and arts, engaged in a widely flaunting dance causing the other gods to burst out in joy and laughter. Meanwhile, in the cave, Amaterasu got curious on how the other gods could show such happiness and mirth in her absence. She was told by Amenosume that a god greater than herself had appeared. Curious about this new god, she peeked out of her cave. In that instance, Ame no Koyane and Futodama brought out the mirror, later known as Yata no Kagami. While Amaterasu was blinded by her own brilliance from the reflection in the mirror, the god Ame no Tajikarao pulled her out of the cave, which was then instantaneously sealed so that she could not re-enter again. Returning to the outside vault, her light shone through the whole world again, giving back the light and illuminating the darkness. Following Susanoo's banishment, he was sent down to earth and arrived in the land of Izumo. Not so long after, he encountered the monstrous serpent, Yamata no Oruchi. 
whom had captured the goddess Kushinada Hime. Suisano slayed the serpent in an epic battle and married the goddess. From the carcass of the serpent, he found the sword Ame no Murakumo no Tsurugi, the sword of gathering clouds of heaven, also known as Kusanagi no Tsurugi, the grass cutting sword. Feeling repentful for what he has done against his sister, Susano gave the heavenly sword back to Amaterasu as a form of apology, and the two gods later reconciled. A tale describes how Amaterasu wanted to subjugate Ashihara no Nakatsukini, or the middle realm, Earth, by another name. At that time, Earth was ruled by Okuni Nushi. Amaterasu declared that the lands should be pacified and put under her jurisdiction and rule so that peace would control the lands instead of the sinister deities. Therefore, Amaterasu sent her first son, Ameno Oshihomini, born from the beads from her competition with Susano, to rule the land instead of Okuninushi and restore the order. However, when Amen no Oshihomini saw the lands crawling with evil, he refused to go any further and implored that his mother should send someone else. That's when she sent another of her five sons, Amen no Hohi. However, he failed his mission as well, and even started cooperating with Okinunushi instead of taming the evil deities. Three years passed without a word from Amen no Hohi. Therefore, Amaterasu sent Ame no Wakahiko as the third messenger. However, again, it seems like Okinunushi has a way to convince the messengers to cooperate with him, since Ame no Wakahiko also siding with him and eventually marrying his daughter, Shitateruhime. Eight years passed without any progress. The god sent the pheasant to question Ame no Wakahiko. Arrogantly, he killed the pheasant with his bow and arrow. The arrow flew back to Takamagahara and landed at Amaterasu's feet. Infuriated by his betrayal, she threw the arrow back to earth with a curse, killing Amino Wakahiko in his sleep. In a final attempt to pacify the unruly lands of earth, the heavenly gods sent the warrior deities Futsunishi and the thunder god Takemikasuchi. The two warrior gods quickly seized the land from Okuninushi, which was a sign to govern the spirit world instead. Now that earth was under control, Futsunishi and Takemikasuchi slaughtered the ones that resisted the reform and rewarded those who complied. Once that was done, the god returned back to heaven. With the earth now purified, Amaterasu once again tried to send her son, Ame no Oshihohime, to rule the earth. However, once again he refused and asked Amaterasu to send his son, Niniki, instead. Amaterasu gave him her blessing and sent him along to earth with the three sacred treasures. Niniki came down from her heaven to Mount Takachigo, in the land of Himuka. As time passed on, he became the ancestors to the empresses and the emperors of Japan. Today, Amaterasu stands as one of the most central Shinto deities, being born from her father's left eye and instantly being destined for greatness. She was set to rule Takamagahara, the heavens. Many tales are recorded of her great stories, such as the story of the first winter that time when Amaterasu shut herself in the heavenly rock cave, casting darkness all across the land. She is still regarded as the most central goddess from Shinto religion and has formed Japanese culture and society. Hey, thank you so much again for watching to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this type of content, I would greatly appreciate you subscribing and hitting the like button as it helps me make more videos like this. I wish you a fantastic day and night, and remember, 
The world is always full of mysterious and interesting topics, so stay curious.